Hey, what is up? My name is Roy Wood Jr. We are digging in the creeks. This is Comedy Central Stand Up Playback. My first guest, the homie, you know him from This Is Not Happening. He's had an hour special on Comedy Central, got another one cocked and loaded. My dog from H Town, Texas, quarantine style, Ali Sadiq. What's going on, Bill? What's good, Roy? Finally, people. I finally <laughs> see some other people other than the people that's in my house. How many people are you quarantined with right now? I am quarantined with four other cellmates. <laughs> they, they ain't even family no more. They, they, not month, even, they, sell they not even family. They just sell. I, I almost shanked my son the other day. I am so, this is it's getting like prison. It's getting, I'm, I'm carving <laughs> out my space. You know, shower time is at one time. It, this, is, this is a difference. This is a different, this is a different family now, Roy. I love it. I love it. Well, look, man, I haven't been able to write new material because I don't know what the mood of the country going to be whenever we get back in the clubs. So I've been going through the crates and then I'm going, ooh, I don't like that shirt. Ooh, that joke is not as good as I thought it was at the time. So I figured some of my buddies would have some of the same ideas about their own material. But I'm going to give you the opportunity to go in on some of mine. This is me 17 years ago. On Premium Blend on Comedy Central. I feel good. It's um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm real happy to be on Mind of Mencia. Uh, it's a great show. This is Mind of Mencia. Hold on, Roy. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Stop real fast. Stop real fast. Let's stop. Uh -oh. Let's, what? let's just what? stop. Okay. One, I respect this show. I wanted to be on this show bad, but Roy, what's the deal with this undershirt? Was this the look? <laughs> was this, it was, was 2003. This? <laughs> was it the look to show your undershirt though? Like it's like you have three layers. Was it the look? So you could you y'all didn't have round neck. Y'all wouldn't watch rocking the round necks. I've always been just, the, I, I, this is a round neck. I have on a round neck now. I have on a round neck sweater in my home. But I'm, I'm not talking about you roast me over a t-shirt, man. So you only did v necks You only did v necks No, I wore the round neck. I just didn't show it. I've always buttoned my shirt to the top. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. I'm, just, I'm mad about the undershirt. Go ahead. Man, you disrespectful, man. He's been a big hit on the college comedy circuit tonight. Oh, 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 what's his name? <laughs> from Birmingham, See? Alabama. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. What type of handkerchief shirt is this? <laughs> 17 years ago. Don't disrespect one of the greats, but he's showing his shirt. And so Damon Wayans can show his shirt, but I can't show a little bit of my t shirt. I'm not saying that you couldn't show it or Damon couldn't show it. I'm just saying it's a horrible look. And these and and I'm a, I'm off you now. I'm like, what is these, what are these cuffs doing? Is this shirt too long for this jacket? That's with the style back then. You bring your shirt out and over. I sold men's apparel. I when I got out of prison, that was my job. I, I worked at a spot called Mosa. I would have never did this to you. But go ahead. Wait till you see this belt buckle I had. Keep rolling. <laughs> Good to see y'all looking coupled up and stuff. Good for you, because I suck at relationships. I suck at love. I'm through trying. I give up. I... You ever been on a date so bad, the girl makes you drop her off at another dude's house? You ever been through that? I pause it right there. For people who don't know about stand-up, when you're doing TV, you need that first joke. You need that first joke to pop within 15 seconds. 10 seconds if you were pro. And usually that joke would do this. And on Premium Blend, it did this. And it dawned on me, oh, I'm performing for white people. They ain't never been in a relationship that terrible before. <laughs> so they can't even relate to being on a date this horrible back in the day. But look at that t-shirt, man. You're telling me that t-shirt don't pop and match that jacket, man. The t-shirt is doing, doing a lot. But I like, I actually like that joke. I think I saw this. And then I think I remember seeing I remember seeing this and I was wondering like why is his pants so long? I, I said just, that. Can we just scrub ahead to just I don't want to see that. Just scrub ahead to all right right there. Man, f you right. You right. It's like you right. It's like you had on Shaq pants. Like but that was the look in 03. I, I don't watch no more. I want to watch some more. Let's see it. Because I wanted to be on this show relationship I was in was like two years ago this girl broke up with me and then changed her mind I didn't want to take her back and she got all depressed decided she was gonna fake her own suicide to get me to take her back I swear, I swear to God this is a true story this is an actual on star conversation this is for real it's really happening 
But she calls me up at two in the morning shaking these sleeping pills on the phone. Swear to God. <laughs> you hear that, Roy? I'm finna go to sleep because you don't want to be with me. Good night. Click. And she hung up. Then she proceeded to send me text messages every 30 minutes to let me know that she had taken a couple more pills. I don't know if this is some sort of suicide update sports ticket that I didn't sign up for. <laughs> and you don't know if your cell phone company's charging you extra, so you try to block them. I'm trying to block the text messages. And they keep coming through. 14 pills, Roy. 28 pills, Roy. 34 pills, Roy. Aren't you gonna say something? I called up. I said it's been two hours. Why aren't you sleep yet? Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Now, it was a different time. Let me let me just say, I would never do that joke now. That is that joke is a true story though. That really happened. This girl was cheating on me. She broke up with me. And then she called me shaking vitamins into the phone. I found out later they were vitamins. I still I still do my suicide bits. Um, it, I do. I think that this would stand up the test of time right now. Now you may have to modify, you would modify some other parts of it, but I think this joke is it's solid. Now this jacket is not solid. This jacket is really not playing TV well. Because you worked at a store helping Pick out ties <laughs> and jackets. Don't make you no I, specialist. I am in a all specialist. The clothes. So is most of one of them places where walk up to your brother, let me help you curate everything. Or is it like being in JC Penny suit department? And I'm go, I'll be at the register. Let me know when you're ready to pay. No, I, I was the one who walk around with you. Hey, nuts, what you wanna look like today? Did you see Roy on premium blend? We're not doing that. Um what we doing? <laughs> this I protested wide leg pants. So I definitely would have protested these are some father jeans. Like, I think that's all they were selling back then was father jeans. But it's a good set, though. It was TV. I was. I wanted to be you. I wanted to be you. I wouldn't have dressed like this, but I wanted to be you. I'm going to tell Damon Wayans what you said about his jacket. Let's look at one of your <laughs> And that hat. You can tell him about that hat, too. <laughs> Damon Wayans, we love you, brother. Do you count the time in prison as kind of like open mic to a degree? Because I know there was funny in there. and you were. I feel like you go through... Creatively, you go through an absorption period where you absorb the world around you and then kind of an expulsion period where you write and get it back out of your system. Were you like, because when I look back at myself, I know that my time when I was waiting tables at Golden Corral, cracking jokes at every table, I wasn't technically a comedian yet, but I had the structure of, I can do this joke at this table and an hour from now when it's a new customer sitting here, I'm gonna do that same joke on these people. So did you have that structure? No, I, man, Roy, I was very lost in, like, I was just a, a sarcastically jovial dude in prison. I didn't get really into the mechanics of it until I started working at Mosa and Sunglass Hut. And see, I work, I didn't work in the Sunglass, sunglass Hut. Expert too. Okay. <laughs> I didn't work in the Sunglass Hut store. I worked in the kiosk in the middle of the mall. Don't so don't do that, Roy. Dude, Roy, was... Roy. Don't do that. Don't don't laugh in my face, Roy. Not in my face. So, we people, <laughs> so you was a dude. We tried to get the around when we was trying to go to a, a store with actual doors. Roy, the kiosk is about twenty three steps away from Mosa, and I'm working at both places. So I would get off from Mosa and walk right into the kiosk. I gotta I gotta open. <laughs> I gotta go lift this thing over. <laughs> So you in a full linen suit selling sunglasses. <laughs> full linen. All right, man, let's watch some of this, man. This is Ali Sadiq from last year. I'm old enough to know things that I like and I don't like. Things that I think that make sense and things that I know make absolutely no sense. <laughs> If you are raising a child and your child is being cyber bullied, you're raising a weak ass child. I don't know what the f cyber bullying is. You know what makes your comedy so dope, bro? Is that you'll say some wild sh and then. Only your eyes are really the, like where another comment might go, you raising a weak ass child. You just go, a weak child. <laughs> it's, 
or why your dumb ass baby <laughs> would sit there and read mean messages <laughs> and be scared, I don't fucking know. Instead of just closing the laptop, I just don't fucking get it. What do they think gonna happen if they close the laptop? Do they think the cyber bully gonna open the laptop? Bitch, don't be closing me. What do they think is going to happen? Okay. <laughs> I like the fact that young pause, white pause, pause. boys. I, I wanna go to another clip of yours in a second here, but just real quick. Do you do you read any of the internet hate you get? You get oh yeah. I don't feel I, like you get a lot of hate though. Oh yes, you, I do. You a hundred ass. You? Oh, but I, I get, I get, I get it. What, what could somebody say? I, I'm not talking about you ain't funny. There's always somebody that's gonna hate you if you're a comedian. But like beyond that, what do people say about you? I get this a lot because you on them white shows, you don't understand the black struggle. <laughs> I like what the f are you I talking can't about? Go back home to black kids and black ass city. Okay. <laughs> hey, the only hateful thing that's ever been said to me that truly hurt my feelings. Uh, 2001, I went on Showtime at the Apollo, I got booed. Monday morning, I'm at the radio station. Somebody called the station. They said, hey man, I just want to tell Roy that I saw him last night on the Apollo. He wasn't funny. And if that's the best you can do, you need to tell people that you from Montgomery until you ready. <laughs> that shit was 20 years ago. I'm still thinking about it. Today. I, I see it because you saying it with the, it saying it like it was said about you yesterday. We get, we got one more of you, man. So I have two. I have two. Okay, go ahead. Run it. Run it. No joke. No run it. Run it. I just want to watch your <laughs> your style. I don't even need to listen to the jokes. Let's roll. This <laughs> I got have a daughter, and oh, I'll pause older. it. That's not my watch. That's not my watch. Whose watch? They went and bought a cheap watch from somewhere because I can't go on the stage without a watch on. Like if you ever want to see me in a frenzy, let me let me notice that I don't have on a watch and it's time to go on stage. I'm like, I wear anybody watch. Hey, let me see your watch. I wear a pink unicorn watch. If it's something I gotta I gotta see time. Like Wait, so you're clocking your, so you're actively clocking yourself even when you're on television. Even when I'm on television, I glance. I glance to know where I'm at in the beats of if I had to speed up or I've had to slow, I had to pull back. You know, I, I got to see. You regulate, but, it, but there's clocks all around the studio. And like, I, I, when you, okay, Roy, you ain't have to expose that it's other clocks. I need a clock. I need, like, like I need a watch. I need a watch. Because that's your system. That's what you came up with. That's your system. You want to stick to it's, it. Okay. It's like, I, I got to be, it's the, I'm a Libra. So I like balance. Everything has to balance out. Speaking of uh, watches, I saw the funniest shit the first time I did Comic View. I'm not gonna name the names of the comedians who was backstage doing this, but all of them had their jewelry and a bottle of baby oil. And he's putting baby oil on their hands and rubbing baby oil on their watches and their chains so it would glisten more when they got out on stage under the lights. They call it the glitz. You got to put your gloss on, young blood. And they <laughs> grease up their jewelry. So then when I did Star Search and Premium Blend, my <laughs> ignorant ass <laughs> is backstage with these white comedians. Hey, you, you want some glisten? Like, I'm offering baby oil to other people. <laughs> Not even knowing that I look like a damn fool, man. All right, let me give it, let's, let's roll a little bit. A little bit of Ali and his stolen watch. I'm at the swim meet because my daughter swims. You know, it's not a popular black sport. And, <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I heard these two little white girls talking about my daughter. And I knew they was talking about because she's the only black person on the swim team. Walk in like, oh my God, we're going to lose this meet. You say, why? They call the black seal. I was like, what? Call my baby no black seal? <laughs> my neighbor Tim like, no, that means that she's really fast. So I'm at the meet go rooting, go black seal, go black seal. They done caught me up. So now, I've been watching this little white girl named Sarah Brown. Sarah Brown, I know she's gonna meet my daughter in the champs meet, I know it, I can feel it. My little baby then got arrogant. She didn't got arrogant, she done won a couple of meets, she don't even carry her swim bag in no more. I'm like her personal assistant. 
I come in with all her stuff. And I heard her say something to Sarah Brown. She walked past Sarah and said, hey, Sarah, I know we gonna race. By the time the race over, I'll be out the pool dry. I said, oh, snap. I'm carrying her stuff. I don't really believe my baby, but I'm, I'm rolling with it. I said, yes, Sarah, you heard her. Dry, Sarah, dry. I didn't believe it, though. I didn't, oh, I didn't believe oh. it. So the race happens. So that's, that's for real? Like, you be talking like that with your kids at the sporting events? Yeah, when my daughter swam, when Jaden was a swimmer, Jaden was kicking people's ass, man, left and right. She was swimming their ass out the pool. And I'd be out there on some straight, saying some straight hood shit. But I would like to point out, this was um, 2013, correct, Roy? 2013? Yeah. Do you realize that I still have the same exact beard? Haven't grown an inch. Have not grown an inch. And I have baby oil all on my damn forehead because I am glistening like apparently. Apparently, I got greased up before I walked out there. Well, it's been fun digging in the crates with your brother. Uh, let everybody know what you're doing right now during uh, quarantine. Um, I know you're a brother that's still creating content and everything. Yes, sir. I have the Corona Comedy Club shows on Wednesday and Friday. And then I do my show on Zoom in the den. So, hey, man, anytime. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Swing by Ali's IG page. I want to say this right now. I think you like showing your undershirt. Is that a black undershirt under that sweater that you have on now? No, no, this is just a double line. This is okay, I just want to, I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank you for having me, brother. Yeah, kiss my ass. <laughs>